chairman of a private army specialized task training equipment and protection international Ibn Balo has alleged that the United States influenced President Muhammad Buhari to terminate the contract to rescue the abducted Chibok schoolgirls. Balo, who sponsored a similar private army, Executive Outcomes, which was shot down in 1998, said Buhari had no choice but to succumb to pressure from the U.S. because, according to him, President Buhari's election campaign was sponsored by the American government in 2015. Recall that Boko Haram abducted 276 girls from Government Girls Secondary School in Chibok, Bonu State, in April 2014. While 57 escaped, 107 were released through negotiations. But 112 girls are still being held by the insurgents, reports indicate. Now, speaking in an interview with Al Jazeera, Barlow claimed the momentum recorded against Boko Haram by the Good Luck Jonathan's government was slowed down by the Buhari-led administration after the contract awarded to his company was terminated. The U.S. mission in Nigeria had yet to comment to the allegations by Bano. I need to first of all make it very clear that we were a subcontractor. There was a prime contractor appointed that appointed us as a subcontractor. Um, our initial aim was not Boko Haram per se, but it was to rescue the Shibok girls. Um, they were the girls that had been kidnapped and where the Western response was hashtag save the girls. Um, that type of nonsense does not save girls. Unfortunately, these girls became victims of a situation where the security had broken down in a specific area. They were kidnapped and that was the first mission, rescue the Shibok girls. Um, we then did a selection process of the Nigerian soldiers. Um, the soldiers were retained after the um, selection process, were then trained um, in, in a very specific way to conduct a hostage rescue operation. And that requires a very specific type of person. However, approximately five or six weeks into the training of the hostage rescue team, we were asked to change our mission. We're not allowed to finish because it came at a time when governments were in the process of changing. I think President Jonathan's government um, possibly saw the entire um, Boko Haram contract, if we call it that, uh, almost as a, as a last gasp in order to regain popularity. The incoming president, President Buhari, was heavily supported by a foreign government and one of the first missions was to terminate our contract. Could you name that foreign government? Yes, we were told it was the United States um, and they had actually funded President Bahari's campaign. Um, the campaign manager for President Bahari came from the US um, and I'm not saying that the United States is bad, I understand foreign interests, um, but I would have thought that a, a, a threat such as Boko Haram on the integrity of the state of Nigeria ought to be actually a priority.